For Hype Plus News, I'm John Alba. Since the Color Purple hit theaters this past Christmas, it's been enjoying a range of success and even loss. According to Forbes, it will dramatically fall as it continues its run in theaters. With most reboots and remakes, audiences can't help but compare the original 1985 classic to the new 2023 musical adaptation. One moment in the new movie in particular seems to have ruffled a few feathers. It was a night spent between Seeley and Shug Avery, played by singer Fantasia and actress Taraji P. Henson. Most who saw the film weren't pleased by the interaction as they thought the scene wasn't necessary and the shared scene was yet another example of Hollywood pushing the gay agenda. Rapper Little Boosie is one person who will go on to express this via a post on X, sent out on Tuesday morning. Boosie would go on to write, I had to walk out this color purple movie, and two other older couples walked out also, because I had my little girls with me, and it seemed like a rainbow emoji love story. Good acting, but whoever wrote the script is pushing the narrative hard. As a parent, I will not let my little girl watch this film. Now, as soon as Boosie sent out the message to his followers, it was met with immediate backlash. There were a lot of users who didn't agree with Boosie and used the opportunity to call it the rapper. One user would go on to write to Boosie, the domestic abuse, underage marriage, and assault and rape are fine, but it's the women kissing that got him to walk out, all which happened before they kissed. Another would use Boosie's own lyrics against him in a tweet that read, two red bones kissing in the back seat. They bisexual, but it's cool. Two red bones kissing in the back seat. I like girls who like girls that attract me. And another social media user would say, y'all must have not watched the original or read the book. And it's not something they shoehorned into the story. It's just that they leaned into that trope more because the times allowed them to. In the original movie, viewers should remember that Seeley played by Whoopi Goldberg and Shook Avery played by Margaret Avery would share a kiss in the film. During an interview for Foundation Interviews, Goldberg would address the controversy surrounding the kiss and its limitations back then with sharing lesbianism on film. Then people were mad that we didn't make the book exactly. But it's like, you know, that's 1984. Nobody was going to let me and Suge make out. One kiss is all you get. <laughs> You know, we didn't really talk about the fact that she was a lesbian. We didn't talk about it because, uh-uh, 84. Now, outside of that, users would actually go on to support Boosie. One user would write, the comments show how backwards they successfully turned our people to the point they try to argue you down, our own people. In addition to that, there were also a number of comments explaining that the characters Seely and Shug Avery went much further than a kiss in the original 1982 book. While promoting the film, talking to The Hollywood Reporter, author of the book Alice Walker seemingly confirmed what one social media user wrote regarding the relationship between the two characters. Bless Steven Spielberg and Quincy Jones, they tried their best. I mean, they were so afraid because you know, the homophobic culture. Walker would also speak on how excited she was that in 2023 they were able to fully depict the complexities of Seeley and Shug Avery's relationship. I really love it that audiences have to take away the reality that Shug and Seeley become lovers because I think that we have really needed help there. We really needed to see that love is love, you know, that people love whoever they love and it's their right to do that. So let's talk about it more in the comments, guys. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts about Boosie's criticism of the color purple? And do you think the new color purple is pushing an agenda? Let's talk about it more in the comments below. And save the day for the latest news and comedy and culture by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. And follow Hype Plus across all social media. For Hype Plus News, I'm John Hopper.